be me, the chosen's one's chosen. One of the commissars, that stout brave in the battles, I believe the one with the banner blade contacts me. Empty face when there might be this alpha legion retards on the planet. These fucks always cheated while gambling and pretended to a complete different game. Also never play chess against their magian. Brace yourself PNG. Tell him we meet at the cog boy's place. Take some of our guards with us and tell baby to hop into the car. I will drive. Eurobeat intensifies. Hopefully it's not too late. I will slay mutants, demons and heretics alike. But you need to punch the alpha faggots in the ground before they even think about getting ideas. Get babe to hop into my car. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Manage to ditch the helmet and my tail. See the venom every once in a while. It gave up after a bit. Decide to go back to the place I was before. With more caltrops and a blaster in case they think I forgot about them. Zoom over and see big winged monkey shooting at raiders. Idea.reva. Flank around from a distance and low to the ground until I'm behind her and almost directly below. Gun the thing and hoe fast as fuck towards her. Surprise anal dot slaves. Fire blaster and splinter rifle. Immediately pull away. Don't see if I hit her or not. Don't want to be around in case I didn't. Speed away. Find the spot I'll last drop the caltrops. See bigger mess than before. Laugh. Drop more caltrops in case they think I forgot. Zoom into the same building as before. Stay inside this time, but mock them from afar. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. Was just about to go exterminate some elder, but by needs me, yo lucky dot jiff. Yell into the vox some more, then go with my bride. Says the commissar has some sort of information. Still not sure if that guy is warp spawn. Or one of that guy anyway. Says we're going to see the ad mech. Apparently they aren't trying to exterminate us anymore. Oh okay dot jpg. Says something about an alpha legion. Have no idea what that is. Whatever. Can't be as bad as fighting psychotic space marines. Be me. Jara Notorious. Primaris Sergeant. On my way to pick up Olga, I get a Vox transmission through my helmet. Apparently, something is going on near my area. Say I'll go check it out. As much as I know I'll be late. Fuck this heresy dot emp. Upon arriving at the area, I find a crushed truck and a shitload of caltrops. Look up in the sky, to find something is happening. Something with wings, and two spike covered objects are up in the sky. Oh. It's the living sun fighting off Dark Elder.jpg. Dot. Fuck. Thankfully, it's still not safe enough in the city for me to be walking around without power armor and a bolter. Thinking carefully as I make my way towards the battle, I quickly load my cool pattern bolter with grenade launcher attachment, with a leak grenade before making my way up to the roof of a half ruin building. Fucking Dark Elder are going to make me late for my date. I'll make you pay for this. Once I've reached the roof, I take up position and quickly choose a target. A jet bike or the transport with all the fetish Dark Elder. Fucking obvious choice. Wait for the right moment before firing the crack grenade at the transport with all the loose looking women. Goes better looking PNG. Be original commissar, me and my future self have managed to get the cog boys HQ though had to use the bane blade to drive there due to dark elder being fucking assholes, again. Moments after arriving was started hearing some weird 2 millennium music that just gets louder and louder as it approaches. It peaks when we hear gas 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 before our emperor damned rhino burst through the wall of the building with an deranged looking governess pops out. I swear she was foaming at the mouth over how royally pissed she looked. You stated you have some recording from a dead alpha legion ara. Yes my lady here it is. Please be car. She just grabs it from my hand and then forces some of the cog boys into a room with her. The only thing we can hear is just angry rambles about how the alpha legion should learn what proper party game rules are. What the fuck dot scholar. It just continued to get more backward with the future version of myself and the governess's bishop husbando just starring each other down. It got worse when some of the cogboys noticed the bishop was more machine than man by this point started chanting one of us 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 I'm still Bridget. Scared those elders off. Now to catch that orc guy. I see the stolen vehicle tearing down the street, heading for one of the gates out of Angel's Landing. I dive for it like the falcons in all the bird videos I watched while training with Sister Sarah. I hear an engine noise and something starts hitting me. Look down and see that elder on the flying bike. He's shooting one of those needle guns at me. They just bounce off my aura. I'm not scared of that. Raise my sword to shoot him down. 
He shoots some weird black light beam that smacks me straight in the chest. Okay, now. I tumble in the air. Not really hurt but I lost my balance. My. Air balance. It's kind of hard to explain to people who haven't got wings. I fall, but I manage to figure things back out before I hit the ground. That butthole is where he went, but I scan the flat ground outside of the city and don't spot him. I have really good eyes, it's a living sun thing. Like, bird eyes. Saints are basically holy bird people, like Sanguinius. I guess a god emperor really likes birds. He's got to still be in the city somewhere. I'm gonna find him and give him a piece of my mind. Be decorous. Be standing here trying to guard the hearse while Marcus fixes it. This is actually the first time I've gotten to meet Miss Maria, since I was in the hospital when everyone else was meeting everyone. Well actually I did meet her that one time, but I was passed out for it. Oh my emperor, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Why is he back here again? Oh come on, hasn't he done enough damage already? I just wanna get home already. Apparently not, as he's dropping even more caltrops. Oh for the love of, nothing, probably giggling his little knife ears off. Whatever he's doing do you think you could get him to stop? I am busy trying to fix shit here. I am sorry, but I am a bit lost here. Who is this Zeno? That's who we were talking about before mom. He's the elder who dropped all these caltrops and started following us around and shooting out our tires. Why? Is he after the supplies you're carrying? No I don't think so. I think he's just naturally an arsehole like all elder. It's like ingrained in their DNA or something. How dangerous is he? Not very in my opinion. He hasn't tried to kill anyone. He's just being a really annoying. Man everyone sure is getting worked up about this guy. If only I could do something about this big bully. But he's all the way up there. And I am down here. And he has some sort of sniper rifle. Head either shoot me or run away by the time I got up there. Hum. Maybe instead of going up there. I can get him to come down here. Those walls are awfully weak looking. Hey, Miss Maria, do you have any dead packs? Sure, in the back. Why? No reason. Now I've just gotta take these and plant these and inconspicuously as possible. <laughs> Doopa doo doo don't mind me. Just being inconspicuous by crumbly wall. Diddy D. Totally not planting anything explosive or anything on these weak walls. I don't think I am too good at that whole inconspicuous thing but it's okay because he seems to be too busy making faces at Lloyd, who's getting really angry and jumping up and down and shouting. Walk away to a safe distance before detonating. Timber.gif. Wait I sent that only with trees? Oh whatever. It's okay guys, I solved the elder problem. Everyone just looks completely stunned. What? Suddenly, the elder burrows his way over the rubble. Lloyd gets a really big and evil looking grin on his face. I got this, Marcus gimme your duct tape for a second. F*** me, Sybarite does a, be in pain. What the fuck? One second I was laughing at the monge, now I buried in rubble. Jet bikes probably wrecked. Fuck. Getting harder to breath. Thankfully my visage is protected by that cool helmet that Reavers wear. Man this thing's kick ass. Start to dig my way out. Starting to regret coming back. Not worth. Not worth at all. Regrets can come when I'm out though. Finally get back to the surface. Surprisingly I'm not that beat up. Stand triumphantly. Almost immediately collapse. See Monkey staring at me. Well, I'm dead. Hello darkness. My old friend. I've come to speak to you again. I'm not high enough for this. Be decorous. Marcus finally managed to get the hearse repaired. Between the van and the elder's bike he was able to scavenge enough parts to get it working again. I still don't see why he needed to take apart some pieces of the bike though. There's a bit more smoke than usual but that can be fixed later. Once we're in, I start feeling kinda bad. EHH guys, do you think we should just leave him all duct taped in a bull like that? I mean it's not like he actually tried to kill us or anything. Absolutely. But there's all sorts of nasty things in this place. He's an elder warrior he can handle himself. Fear's supposed to be good at fighting, but without his guns? Well we have to keep it fed aren't we? And all tied up? Oh it'll be fine. He's a dark elder, he probably enjoys it. Besides, if he ever gets tired, he can just cut himself out using the caltrops. Be me, Gormuncher. Be in me new truck. Is black and spiky, loic dem yumis. Is driven down the road. Could be using dis storm to shoot the yumi, but he's gotta go fast. Faster. Dem Pansy Elder will take the attention off of me, but he's got a jit out before Day Nows is air. Crash out of the city. Get driven. 
Is gonna be a bit of a ride. Is up in the boys will be ready fair crumpin' when is get dear. Be me, Ecclesiarchy youngster bishop. What the hell is even going on? How does my wife, who was the sheltered and innocent victim of her corrupt family, know what an alpha legion is? Who's going to tell me what an alpha legion is? What is all this nonsense screeching? Probably heresy.png. Why is this warp spawn staring me down? And why does no one else have a problem with this? Definitely heresy.jpg. Why is everything moving so fast? Everything is supposed to be perfect now. Do mechanicus burn? I know warp spawn do. It's getting hot in here.mp3. Getting irritated. I'd rather be at home. Need to get answers but also be suitably diplomatic. I'm not solely in charge anymore. I need to be cordial but firm. Someone is going to tell me what in the emperor's name is going on or I swear I will burn this place to the ground with all of you in it. Be me, Colonel James Arthur of Praetorian Guard Regiment. Been doing piss all for the last few years. Need something to do. Voxcast. Here's something about 12 way shit show. What the dickens. Psychic message. Top brass generals want us to mobilize cause the conscripts have nothing better to do. Commissar thinks this is a good idea. The re gonna die. Moustache twirl. Just pray it's not a repeat of Big Tooth. Emperor protects. Mov. Bishop for Ant's speech. Be me, Jaron Notorious, Primaris Sergeant. The face when your crack grenade just blew the Dark Elder transport, carrying those lewd looking witches, straight in half. My face when they fell 20 stories, before hitting the ground next to where that Elder jet bike crashed. God, I love this gun. Not as much as the Auto Bolt Storm Gauntlets, but it's enough. I lower my rifle under my pauldron, a proud look upon my face. I wish Olga had been here to see this. Dot. Dot. Fuck. I'm fucking late. Dot gif. I quickly made my way down the stairs of the hab block, and into the street. Spend the next 5 minutes at full sprint, running as if an apex predator were chasing me as a child. Olga isn't going to forgive me for this. My face when some stupid elder have now caused me to be late by half an hour for my date with sister Olga. Fuck Xenos. Be sister Nix. On the whole, these stormtroopers aren't so bad. Definitely have an appreciation for the small one's mechanical capability, and his use of my dead packs. Was saving those for the next nest of bugs, but I feel like the escalation was appropriate. After all, the elder did blow out my fucking tires. Should have shot him, but we're behind schedule as is. Nids aren't going to kill themselves, after all. Perhaps we'll show them the meaning of death. Wait. Stormtroopers are looking at me funny. Maria's giving me a warning look. Did I say that out loud? Fuck. Okay be cool Nix. Eyes on the road. Small talk. So, you boys ready to purge the nest of abominations in the eyes of the god emperor? From their expressions I'm not sure they are. Maria is face palming. Maybe I should just keep my eyes on the road. Be canonous. Storming out of the matrimonial cathedral with the sisters in tow. Don't know what's worse. The fact that I've got an alpha legion problem to worry about. Or the fact that our dear commissar neglected to inform me until after he told those impulsive local government degenerates. Idiots. All of them. They're the fucking alpha legion. They don't just leave bodies and intel behind. Not unless they want you to find them. Dead. He's dead. How the fuck is that even possible? Well this is a big wrench that got stuck in the training plan. It is recoverable though. This gives us an extra tool in the other plan. Commotion coming from tunnel Klosovy. Sounds like some angry imperials. I step back and gesture to the tunnel. Well if he's dead, how do you feel about living and getting some nice revenge? I can make that happen. He looks at me long and hard, then looks down to the tyrannid he was skinning, then back to the where the R sounds are coming from, slowly getting closer. Okay. He picks up the tyrannid, wanders in the side entrance and I point him down the ladder and tell him to keep walking. Quickly close the force door. Set the motion detector to blow the explosives once anything gets close. That worked out. Commencing mission frame the bird brains. Be Jenna Steeler Patriarch. Used to have a pretty good cult going. Keeping low, slowly spreading through the downtrodden and forgotten. Sheer ecstatic joy when High Fleet arrives. Children join the battles filled with joy. Children are all dead psychic scream. Hive is scattered and broken. Connection to Hive mind severed. Back to square one. All work is for naught. But I'm a determined Jenna Steeler. I'm going to start a new cult. And it's going to be the biggest and best cult ever. 
it's going to attract all the hive fleets, and the Norn queens are going to call me a good boy and take my special genetic code to make replicas because I am best Jenna stealer. I'm now crawling into sewers, awaiting opportunity. B Colonel. Moving shit is taking a long time. Faking slow idiots JPG. While waiting for all our supplies, armor and the likes to be prepped for transport read up on this planet. What the fuck? Place starts out as nothing and goes to some total war shit show. Time to put a call into high command and see if this is a good idea. So reading up on this planet makes it seem like going anywhere near the sector is less than a good idea. Yes I know we have two men of conscripts who have no idea how to use a LAS gun but this is the worst idea since Monta 7 in- Okay, we'll go and join up with the Imperial forces there but don't expect any miracles out of us. Pray to the Emperor that there won't be any orcs. Be me. Steel Legion somehow gets called to some shithole planet with like 12 fucking factions fighting on it. By the Emperor dot picked. Commissar comes in and gives us a briefing. Commissar finishes and by the Emperor's grace no one is shot. Get sent to squad Chimera for a drop. Planet has a breathable atmosphere. Why are we here? My face when. Be Jenna Stealer. Be lurking in dark alleys. Out of sight. See a man. Staggering and drunk. Perfect target stalker. Grab the man. In his daze. He is unable to react as I place a big ol' smooch on his lips. Darting off a positive tongue deep within his throat and implanting DNA warping material. Pull back and watch him writhe. Squirm. And vomit. Coo softly and pet new member of the brood, telling him how much of a good boy he will be, and how he should find a nice girl to settle down with to help expand the family. Tell him you want grandkids as soon as possible. Skulk back to sewers. Today was a good day. Smile. Be Hakron Garris, Alpha Legion Operator Master of Celso, the Sororitas, the local Militarum, Mechanicus, and the Echolshiarchy representatives have taken the bait of the recording device planted on the Alpha Legionnaire. Literally just some sanctified berserker spray painted metallic blue. Not like they would know the difference. Thanks to the recording device we have ID'd most important members of each faction on the ground. Now to choose a target for operation blame the bird brains. The Echolshiaki reps are technically the ones with the most info. Since I myself have played my fair share of board games with those inserted cultists. God they were daft. But they have easily usable forces that can be turned quite quickly. Without leadership they would probably disperse. Sororitas reps are of a high quality threat but their deaths wouldn't make too much of an impact. The Militarum is an interesting case. Two of the exact same commissar are both leading the same army. That may be a point to keep out for. And the Mechanicus. Whom I can also use but not kill. Since their fervent want of tech can be bent into a valuable weapon. I think a council is in order. Call in all available Alpha Legionnaires for a special occasion. A. Big. Helpful. Brainstorming session. Be me. Grafia. Be being pushed along by this big blue feather. Going down this ladder. Long ass ladder. What a thrill. MP3. Make it to the bottom. Look up at this big blue feather. Figures he wants to keep me around. Wants me to be his little. No. Feth that. I already had a big. I'm not getting another one. He's a marine, and probably one of those traitor marines. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to be herded along like some sheep. He wants to help me get revenge. I'll do it myself. Fethemol.png. He's big. But these tunnels are cramped. Slide into a side passage. Don't give him an explanation. I'm sure he'll get over it. Find some other cultists to help him. I'm doing it my way now. Be cultist of the dark gods. Patrolling some ruins. Executing the civilians who worship the false emperor. Pissing on aquilas. Hear rumbling. Feel rumbling. What in the name of the great ones dot jpg. Guard Chimera is coming down the street. Plot an ambush. Chimera stops. Rage intensifies dot corn. Back pops open and a bunch of trench coated fucks walk out. Run because there are 10 of them and one of me. Trip over arc. Get up and look behind me. The last thing I see on this mortal plane is three guardsmen. Pick related. Be Fessus. Actually you know what. Don't be Fessus. Being me is just one cruel with no punchline. This was supposed to be a simple grab and go mission. That's all. Just a simple heist. Alright fine. There I said it. It was a heist. A robbery. A large scale mugging. But you know what. Those guys we stole these crates from were thieves anyways. You can thieve from thieves. And we've been slogging it through the worst shit imaginable for so damn long, that we deserved a nice simple mission where everything would work out, and we'd get something nice for it. 
Instead we almost get shot by gangers, get stopped and toyed with by Elder, and now we're off with a suicide squad to go fight a nids without any heavy ordnance. At least they were nice enough to let me bring these crates along, so I can be reminded of why we're all going to die. Oh and these weird elder weapons too that could be sold for a lot money too I bet. Frankly I am just glad they let me take it on instead of destroying it. Maybe it'll help us not die in this obvious death trap. By the emperor, why can't anything ever be easy? The universe must hate me, it must. Well why else would it keep putting me in these situations? It's insanity. What could I have even done to deserve this? Besides the stealing of course. But still, they were thieves so it shouldn't count. God Pro, I never thought I would be missing the barracks cots so much. Be unhappy operative Mephras. Have this cornet guardsman with a big axe and bigger problems underneath. He doesn't seem happy at all with the current turn of events. Even though I will literally offer him a chance to murder that bishop who intel suggests killed the gutters this guy knows him. Suddenly he stops. Turns around. The fucking idiot looks at me and says no and bounds off into a little side sewer. Capital I. Didn't even get to explain my plan. Mission failed. We'll not get him next time. Well, this trip was almost completely worthless. Hopefully the bombs at least kill one of those roaming squad. At least I'll be back in time for the brainstorming session. God I'm so sad. Be Jenna Steeler. Be scurrying through the sewer. Be happy that I'm working on expanding the brood. See large armored human. Consider options. Nope.jpg. Stick to shadows. Wait for big human to leave. Be Colonel. Our shitty little regiment of conscripts has arrived on whatever the fuck this planet is called. Cold shoulder? The fuck. While our shit's getting unloaded so we can get something done try to find someone who can tell me why this place looks like it's been on fire. There's no one around Dodvox. How hard is it for there to be guarded zones put together if this place still has shit on it, like there's what looks like elder shit here. Where are the defenses? All I see are chimeras and rhinos blazing around at the speed of sound. And some cultist who looks like he was either flattened or kicked in the head. Can't tell. Time to go for a walk then. Be future commissar. Continue my stare down of the cyborg bishop. Can tell by the look in his eyes that he is about to start some burnings. Probably due to the cogboys that are in the room are by this point molesting the mechanical parts of him and keep doing their binary chants. This is really freaking out the original me and the bishop's guards but nobody has any idea what to do since the mechanicum pretty much makes all of our shit. Pray to the emperor something will come to change this predicament. That pray was answered when the canonist kicked the door open. Commissar do you have any idea about how the Alpha Legion? It was at that moment that she witnessed how dear bishop boy robot getting assaulted by the cog boys and heard his wafer making mad ravings about Alpha Legion. Paradox Billiards Vostroy in roulette 4th dimensional hypercube chess strip poker. She is somehow able to display confusion through her mechanical eyes. Why don't we take this conversation to another room for no canonus until the governess is done with that message. She just nods and we follow her. Dear Emperor this is going to be a rough night. B.I. Elvish. Spirit seer of same Han. Been walking through the caverns for a bit. Air feels damp. Pricellia leading the way. Completely silent. Talk about your dead end conversations PNG. Cavern walls start to shift. Looking a bit more unnatural and clearly carved. After another bit begin noticing more signs of disturbance. Some cracked stones. Some strange markings. The works. Finally see the first sign of life on this world, in a discarded tool. I had read the monkey use these pikes to harvest minerals from the earth. So uncivilized.mp3. Cast it aside. At least means we're getting close to the surface. Start seeing minecarts. Can see we're on track. Get it dodgif. Finally see light, approaching with some relief. I prefer wide open spaces, like many of my craft world. Mine shafts are just not my speed. Come to the exit. Feel the temperature dropping, the winds howling. Figure this place was once the center of a mining operation for the Monge. Guess they got tired of smacking rocks together. Honestly surprised. Regardless, we're still a ways off from our goal. I can feel the emanations of the lost spirit stones. Better get moving. Exit the mine shaft. Stepping outside. Elvish has left the building everyone. Be Dratha, the last crasher. Be honestly a little lost down here in these depths. Not that I ever really knew where I was going in the first place. Left big blue, still set on doing things my way. But, since he's showed up, it's got me thinking. Things might be starting to pick up again. I'm not going to miss that chance. Means I got to get topside, and get a feel for the situation. See how things are going. 
which means going up. If only it were that simple. GIF just means I need to not only find my way out of a network of tunnels filled with the crons and bugs, not to mention the loyalist imperials. Oh, and also make sure Big Blue doesn't try to require me in a more forceful manner. No worries. I got this. I think. B Colonel. Place has fuck all on it like why did this even become an important system in the first place? All I can see are ruined elder shit and a lot of corpses. I see dead people. JPG. The most troops we have here are what looks like a skeleton PDF. Some, by the looks of the burn marks, bolter bitches, and space marines. Don't understand why but this place must have had some significance to have had this many troops on it. Fuck it, time to go back to finding someone who looks like they're in Cridge. See Governor's Mansion. Might be a good place to start. On the road again. PNG. B Canonus. Not entirely sure what's going on. Fucking Mechanicum Widows. Head outside with the Commissar to wait with the sisters. Of the two of them, I prefer the alternate reality copy. Whatever he went through on that other world improved his disposition. Consider that I've never apologized to him for hypothetically keeping his timeline from ever existing. Fucking time travel, never again. Consider also that I'm not actually the least bit sorry about it. Doubt it's something he minded much anyway. He gets me up to speed and I chastise him half-heartedly for not informing me first. Pretty sure he already learned that lesson without any help. B.I. Elvish. Spirit Seer of Samehan. Wind is blowing harder than a banshee on a rant out here. Even I, clad in the miracle that is Eldery crafting, am starting to get the chills. Perhaps I should have appropriate away serpent or other craft. No, it would be best to remain under the radar of the Monge. Even their crude brains would be able to see a large, red, floating tank in the middle of a snowstorm. Only just though. Laughs in old man jpeg. Perhaps I can acquire alternate means of travel. Send a thought pulse to Priscilla to halt. Reach out with my spirit into the great ocean. See if I can locate something nearby. Ah yes. What's the monkey term? Bingus. Yes that's it. Bingus indeed. See the creature in my mind's eye. So simple and bestial. It is easily convinced that I am its ally. And worthy aiding. Summon it to my side. Feel the shaking in the snowy earth. Open eyes to spot a colossal, six-legged creature. Its hide is shaggy, its twin tails flicking with playfulness. It's more, capable of swallowing me whole, open with tongue hanging out. The monkey might see this creature and fear it but to I, it is nothing. It ain't nothing but a high-end dog. It lowers its head, allowing me to climb aboard its fluffy back, before it starts trotting off at my command. Priscilla is scooped up in its jaws, so terrible to behold for all others. Conjuring up visions of abominations and monsters. Yet it ain't nothing but a high end dog. And it sure is a friend of mine. B Palatine Barbastella. While the Emperor has not yet seen fit to grant me the death I yearn for, he has in his beneficence eased my burden. This has taken the form of a rogue trader delivering much needed supplies to this world, including an excess of bolt rounds, promethium and spare parts. He even guided me when broaching the topic of the allocation of resources and work between the three orders. I doubt the canoness would have conceded that she had favored her own too much if I hadn't caught sight of one of the ermine mantle sunbathing on the cathedral roof. All in all, an unusually pleasant day. However such things are fleeting, as mere hours later the Alpha Legion were found to be at large on the planet. And how when I made my way to the motor pool, I found out that my hearse had been stolen by orcs. Trust not the illusion of life, my sisters. It will only find new ways to disappoint you. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Wake up wrapped in adhesive strips. Just like my gang of days. Nostalgia. Quickly realize my situation. Oh fuck they left me for dead. Without killing me. Try and think up a solution. Thoughts interrupted by venom smashing into the ground followed by a rain of cabalites. Convenient. Splinter. Roll over to one of the jagged bits of metal and saw my bonds away. Embrace freedom as the adhesive falls away. Get up and inspect the wreckage. All the passengers are dead. Steal myself for the coming deed. Begin to respect the dead in the way only Dark Elder can. By looting them. Find some suitable armor that wasn't beating to shit and replace it with my own. Get a bunch of knives. A neat sword and splinter pistol off the other Sybarite. Even manage to pull a shadow field out of the mess. Fuck if I know what the Sybarite was doing with one but I have learned to not ask questions. Especially with this fucking planet. Think about grabbing a splinter rifle, but decide that I should travel light given how far I am away from the staging point. Briefly think about contacting someone for a pickup. 
decide against it, Succubus might catch wind and come back to finish me off. Start the long as fuck walk to the base. Hopefully I get there with little to no surprises. Knowing this planet, I'll run into a fucking Wraith Lord. <laughs> Be Jenna Stealer. Elder thing is weird. Too filled with puns. Return back down to underground network of tunnels and sewers and buried roads. Hundreds of years of human development and the burrowing of the high fleets have left the planet with an extensive underground. Implanting hobos and tramps with my seed not lewd. Go check up on first edition to new brood. He is doing just as daddy recommended, and is spending time with every whore in every brothel. Such a good boy. I deem him good boy. I reward good boy with a spark of psychic power. His children will quicken faster than normal. Hooray for the bio powers of the tyranids.psychic shearing. Give good boy a pat on the pack and tell him to keep at it. Good boy says he is out of money to pay whores. I tell good boy that he can't take a break in that case. He's earned it. Just make sure to get back to work as soon as possible. Be colonel. This mansion or whatever the fuck it is looks nice. Some sister of battle and two commissars walk out. Might ask them dot png. Wait why do those commissars look identical? Might be the emperor's grace, or mutation. Won't bring that up though. Walk up to them and wonder what the fuck has happened here for there to be so many people on on backwater system. Get brought up to speed, with some dirty looks from the bolter bitch. What's in shit's name dot vox. The face when I regret this entire thing for high command entirely. Ask if there's anything the Praetorians can do. Wait. Pack back up and get ready to leave? What? Kden.jpg. Be me, Grafa. Be the last crasher. Been going around for a bit, down the the depths. Think I'm making progress. At least the sounds of echoing and distant violence tells me I'm getting closer to the upper levels. Sisters don't seem to be a quiet bunch. Lucky me dot dot gif. Marching along when I hear a noise. Axes in hand. Body in motion. Swirling around trying to keep momentum. Stop. Oh it's just some dude. Figure it's another cultist or traitor member of the guard. There are a lot of use down here. Never really liked them to be honest. The bigs were really friendly but didn't try to force us into being zealots. Not like these fethin cultists. I thought I turned on the bishop to get out of zealotry.png. Feth this guy. I got better things to do. Except. He's not. What? What? Feather comes at me. Weirdest grin on his face. Can barely see down here, but think he has a knife, made from some of those bug claws. Note to self make bug claw knives.jpg. He's babbling about something. Keeps trying to welcome me to his family. Bring up the chain axe, and swing hard. Don't even start up its motor, just crash the fething thing into him like a club. It connects. Let's see Michael of the mantle do better. Gif. He goes down hard. Blood pooling. Take a knee, hear him still muttering, even if his brains are evacuating his head. Welcome to the family welcome to the family welcome to the family welcome to the fam. Bring down my boot. I've heard enough. Scoop up his knife. Stash it on my hip. Something is going down. I better keep moving. If this guy has a family, who knows how long before they come looking for him. Be Jenna Stealer. Feel one of the new brood members die. Pure. Unbridled. Fucking. Tyranid. Rage. Travel to where brood brother died. Good night sweet prince dot bug tears. Begin to track down the monster that would harm my children so. Be Dratha, the last crasher. Be moving through the passages. Trying to keep up a decent pace. Try to pretend all the twists and turns are to throw off potential followers. Totally not because my sense of direction is shit. See a ladder. Guess I'm going up. Snake eater dot mp3. Be canonous. That's it. That's the last fucking straw. Spend months dealing with troop allotments, logistics, deployment schedules, and some limey mustachioed fuck in his pith fucking helmet from some dipshit guard regiment I had no clue was even on the planet interrupts the commissar and I to ask what planet is he even on and what's going on around here. Just walk away, Constantia. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Remember what the old canonist taught you. It's not their fault. The Emperor has a greater plan than we can understand. He enlists us to help all his faithful, even the ones whose purpose we can't ourselves fathom. Pace around behind the repressor for a few moments to regain composure. Be Jenna Stealer. See child murderer climbing up a ladder. Rage. Grasp his leg and pull him off the ladder, throwing him to the ground. Pounce on him snarling, baring your vicious teeth. A brief pause. To kill him, or to bring him into the brood. Be original commissar. 
Discussing with Canonus on how to handle the upcoming clusterfuck when out of nowhere a colonel pops up from a foreign regiment. The guy is confused as hell and ask what is the planet's importance to warrant such a large scale war effort from just about everybody in the galaxy. Oh boy dot vox. Have to explain to the colonel that it just started with some noble incompetence that devolved from there in the current situation. I can see him losing faith in about anything really as I explain this shit chow. That or it could be fear in his eyes since the sisters are judging him more than they were me a minute ago. Or some combination of both. Anyway the guy asked what he can do. Well, retrieve more valuable items out in the wasteland and report on any activity you can. The guy then just walks away as quickly as he could while still trying to look professional. Can already tell he regrets coming to this shithole. Kinda wonder if I should make IG council if more foreign regiments arrive with their colonels. Oh feth jif. Feel leg grabbed by no doubt the family. Crash into ground. Look up into family. This must be mommy. Waiting for it to tear me apart. It's waiting too. It's giving me weird eyes. Is it? Is it thinking? What does a bug think about? Realize I don't want to find out. I'm not bug food. Lash out with knife. Figured if it's made from bug claws, it should be able to pierce bug hide. Bugscience.jpg. Go right for its joint at the hip. No use hurting this thing if I can't escape after. Time to scamper. Spot a smaller tunnel. Good luck getting in here for arms.png. Dive in. Feel the enclosed space of the walls scratching against my axe. Beats being eaten by a bug. Or worse. Be Jenna Stealer. Now, waited a bit too long. Wound made with tyrannid constructed knife. Hurts, small amount of poison, but I have a high resistance to it. Still stronger, faster, and tougher than the human. Honestly, I like him. He is strong. His children would be strong. You'll need strength. Good to add strength to the gene pool sooner rather than later. Human is in a small tunnel. Human does not seem to realize the flexibility of Jenna Steeler frame. Fuck yeah, yoga bitch JPG. Go around, keep scent in mind. Lurk above where human will emerge. Pounce as the human emerges, squeezing through. Knock him down and pin his arms not kinky. Look into his eyes. See rage. See fair. See strong instinct for survival. All good things. Plant big sloppy kiss on his snarling mouth. Implant seed. Release and stalk backwards. Whisper over the forming psychic link. Welcome to the family son. Be colonel. These people. They're fucking mad. A giant fucking war in the middle of our snows nowhere. All over some twat's incompetence. And to top it all off them sisters looked like they were gonna murder me especially the one with the orange hair. Didn't like his scarf. Looked kinda stupid if you ask me. Anyway time to go back to the boys and tell high command what's going on and what I have to do here. While getting these conscripts ready for fuck knows what. Just hope there's no orcs dot moustache twirl. May the emperor protect me and my bunch of idiots. Be Drafa. Be apparently some scholar girl at Makirat point. The A-line is making its intent clear. Try to resist. Try to fight. It's coming in now. Honestly shitting myself. I don't know you dot jif. Feel it trying to force its ovipositor into my mouth. Feth 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 feth. This can't be happening. I'm not going to die like this. I can't die like this. I won't die like this. This is for you gut dot jif. Bite down hard. Feel strength I didn't know I had. Teeth tear into its saline flesh. Pull my neck. Hear a ripping sound. You wanted a kiss? Let's see you do it without tongue. Goddamn bug. Spit out the ovipositor. Mouth filled with alien gore. Now get the feth off of me. It pounced too swiftly. Too eager. It tried to bite me. Now it can feel the bite of my axe. Gun the engine. Let its teeth tear into the alien. Squad of alpha legionnaires sent out to capture the pure strain Jenna Steeler for further important plans. Jesco suggests we'll let it loose in the city, but then I'll just go back to doing its normal routine. Goran thinks we're going to reverse engineer it into a patriarch and start our own Jenna Steeler cult. Sounds good. I personally think we're gonna collect them all and make a happy family, then force them into combat synapses and then release them. See movement on all specs by the ladder to the hospital. Move in with the stasis bomb primed. See the Jenna Steeler crawl out of a really fucking small tunnel. How the fuck did it even fit in there? Bleeding from its mouth. How that's weird. Screeches at us really angrily and pounces up the ladder. Luckily I was top of my class at grenade throwing. Donk him on the head perfectly. Slams on the ground covered in a nice comfy stasis. Mission fucking accomplished. We all give five fives and start carrying the heavy fuck back to base. 
Life's good dot plan. Be Jenna Steeler. Ow. This boy is a bad boy. He damaged off depositor. That is not nice. That will take time to heal. Also. Ow 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 fuck 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 fuck. Now bad boy is trying to kill his daddy. That's a very bad boy. Stop it I would yell if I was capable of human speech. Instead I just snarl. This one has a strong will. Most fall in line and realize how good the family is for them very quickly. This one has much stronger convictions. Still, the seed is inside him. Barring excruciatingly painful surgery, he will eventually fall in line. It just might take a few hours. The bad boy lunges at me with a whirring axe. Okay, maybe days. Might be best to give him a few days. Jump back. Flee to the shadows. Take several glancing hits from his axe as you flee. Ow. Bad boy. You'll need to discipline him when he realizes that you are his daddy. Run away. Oh, and that's a bit disappointing. I did a cold shoulder episode and not really having the sisters battle in it, you know? I don't know, the sisters battle really are, for me, the main characters. And, you know, it's a bit sad doing, like, you know, all this and... We don't even really see them. Although, I must say, the Gene Stewart's were a lot of fun in this one. I really enjoyed them. And same with Sister Next getting her car stolen. I thought it was fucking hilarious, to be honest with you. But hey, let us know your favourite bit down below. And make sure to click that notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all further videos. Also, like, you know, if Synth leaves your sort of thing, to check out my second channel. It's something, you know what I mean? You might like it. Um, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you haven't already check out my Redbubble portfolio, you might just find something you like. This... this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This... this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?